Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now we've got an interesting little spider that we are going to rehouse today. It's one that we've never had before and uh, this particular spider came in in a collection that we purchased and um, as often happens every now and again we get something a little bit exciting that we wasn't expecting and that is one of them things. Now this is, I've got to get this right because it's a bit of a Bit of a gobful, really. It is the Fufius Fufius, Fufius Lanaceus, which is the golden wafer lid trapdoor spider, um, commonly referred to as the gold digger, and you'll get to see why in a bit. So, what we're going to do, we, we are literally um, going to rehouse it in this tiny cube. Now, this is only a very small spider, so we're only looking, um, I think, full grown. These guys don't get much bigger than about three and a half centimeters, four centimeters at the very most. Now, there is so little on these guys, it's unreal. So, we're going to have to just play around and see what we can do. Now, what little bit we did find out, they suggest that um, temperature wise, they like it between 70 and 80 degrees. Now, um, in terms of humidity, we've had varying reports. Some are saying 60%, others are saying high 70s. So what we're going to do, we've got some potting compost and some um, cocoa fiber mixed in. And as you can see, this is quite, quite sort of, um, there's moisture in it, but it's not wet. It is actually quite dry. As you see, it don't stick to our fingers. So we're going to try it at this and see what happens. Um, and see where we go, really. It's literally going to be a bit of experimentation. And quite often, when we get new spiders like this, and spiders that are new to the hobby when they come in, the literature is very poor, purely because no one's had them. They haven't really been kept as such. So, uh, or been recorded. So it doesn't allow an awful lot for us to get by with now this is what it was kept in this is uh, like an old fruit fly tub and as you can see there although they say they're a, a wafer lid trapdoor this guy has built more of a um, like a tunnel if you like and then he's actually webbed up the top now when he first came here, there was none of this webbing on the top. None at all. So we wasn't even sure whether this particular pot even had a live spider in it. So we ended up, we, we dug her out. And um, she's obviously gone back down, remade her home, and she's done this extra bit of webbing on the top, which is really quite interesting. So straight away we've seen two different types of behavior from this one spider that we you know we wasn't really expecting so what we're going to do we are going to fill this pot up here pretty much up to where the vent is on the back they only need a couple of inches of soil in which to um dig around so now this is just like a, a normal square square cube so what we're going to this is going to be so simple as it is with many of things like the, the trapdoors and stuff like that, they don't require a great deal. Which in some respects can make their enclosures a little bit on the dull side. But what we're going to do, we're going to add a bit of moss and bits and pieces and see what we can't sort out. Got to be able to make it look, look pretty in some way or another. So what we're going to do, we, we've filled that up, we're going to take it up to there, we're going to pat it down just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of firmness, but not all the way down. So the, the top of it will be um, a little bit compact, but literally down here, this is still loose. So she will be able to dig away to her heart's content. And um, I think what they've done is when we looked into this before, it looks like they line the whole of the tunnel out with, with silk. And that's what makes it strong, stops it from collapsing, things like that. So 
I think what we want now is just a little bit of bark of some description, maybe. I don't know whether it's too big. We just want a tiny, tiny piece, really. There we go, this will do. Now this is a bit of, uh, this has got some nice texture to it, you see. This looks really nice. So I think we'll, we'll make use of a bit of that. We've also got some moss here, which we're going to use as well. So what we want, you see, look, we've got isopods here. These have come in with a moss. See them? So they'll be all right. She might even eat them. She probably will, to be fair. So what we're going to do, we are going to use the moss to try and try and create and get her to dig somewhere in the middle, maybe. So I'm going to put that down there like that. And maybe by just having a little bit of moss in here, it might just brighten it up a bit. Make it look a little bit better. And take this. There we go. And then what we can do is we can... Take a little piece of this, pop that there, like that, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll just poke like a finger depth through there, as far down as my finger will reach basically, so the length of my finger, we're going to create that hole there. What I should have done was done this the other way around, shouldn't I? This is the front. Right. This is what we do, you see. We play around, we get ideas, and then we're gonna, we change. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go that way now. Same with this one here. The reason being, obviously, is we would like to look in the front and hopefully get to see the front of her trapdoor. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna make that finger hold there again. Hopefully, you see, we've made an absolutely perfect burrow there. With any luck, that is where she's going to go. We've got a little bit of other moss here. We'll perhaps put that in there, just to finish that off. We're going to leave this bit of soil here. And I reckon we will just about do it. I don't think we need to get any fancier than that. We'll just put a little piece of moss in the back here. What I'm hoping is, is where, wherever the moss is, is, it might just put her off from trying to dig there. So we're trying to encourage her to go where we want her to go. That's the idea. That's the plan. Right then. What we didn't do was allow a little bit of room for a water bowl. So we'll put that in the back. It's been a hot day, isn't it, babe? It's been a very hot day today. Although, we shouldn't complain. Work is going off the charts. There's no room to rest. We're going to put that in there like that. There we go. Look at that. Now we're starting to get a bit of shape. And there. We'll just water our moss in. Again, this might just put her off of um, wanting to dig around in the wet moss, all being well. <coughs> there we go. So we're going to give it a little bit. And what we will do going forward, we will water down the edges and then try and leave the centre part dry or drier. So hopefully the um, the center will absorb the water from the outside and draw it in and then that in in effect will hopefully give her the right kind of um, environment that we're looking for right then let's see this wonderful wonderful spider 
Let's see, if I move this over here. Is that good? Yeah. We can see? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to, I think what we'll try and do is get a look at it in here. So you can see how she sealed all this off with the web. Absolutely incredible. So what we're going to do, we are going to take this webbing away. You see that? She's got a perfect dome, a perfect tube. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Lovely. It is, isn't it? All right, so there she is. I can see her. Here she comes. What we're doing now is we're poking the, the paintbrush all the way down and we're trying to get it behind her because we want her to come out. Here she comes. Pretty sure this is a female. That one go. Right. So she don't go tearing off now. Well, hopefully. Look at that lovely silk tube there. It's looking like she's um in pre molt well, she sealed herself. Yeah, she might have done, yeah. Can you move that stick? Move what? The, it's just focusing on that. Oh, I see. There we go. Now, if we can get some light on her before she disappears. You can see where they get the name of that gold. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely awesome? You see the gold shimmering on the abdomen? Can we see that? If you keep still, babe. It's almost like gold dust all over the abdomen. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pop her down on the moss. A bit of luck, we'll get a proper look at her with a nice background. There we go. She looks absolutely exquisite. Fabulous looking spider. Absolutely beautiful. As we said, there's very, very little known about these guys. So it's going to be a little case of um, just having a little muck around and just see what we can do. She seems to be in good health at the moment, so we can take it from the pot that she's come from. She was in quite dry soil, very similar to what we've just done in this enclosure. So hopefully we can mimic that soil because she looks to be in really, really good form. Now, obviously, one thing we don't know is how long these guys live. We have no idea. We'll put that down? No. And the lady says no. She's pretty. She is very pretty. Come to the side again. Come on, lady spider. There we go. So yeah, all we can do is mimic the um, the soil that she was in. Try and keep it the same. Um, regarding food, these guys will take on anything pretty much. So we'll we'll be looking at giving her medium crickets um, to sort of like um, a third grown roaches, red runners, and they'll probably be enough. I normally find with these smaller spiders that they like the softer bodied stuff, like the crickets. So it's a little bit less for them to have to fight for. 
If you're going to give them the red runners, then look for the, the, the young, soft-bodied ones. And they will take them down much, much easier. And they can deal with them in a much better way. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? She's stunning. I can't wait to see She's tiny. When, when she molts out and, um, and we actually get to see what she will look like in her full colours. Because at the moment, she's very much in pre-molt. So it's going to be an interesting thing to see how, um, how she changes. Now, as we said, we, there is so little information on these. We've got no idea how long they live for. Um, some of the trapdoors can actually live a, a good long time. Others are a little bit short-lived. So, yeah, we're just going to have to enjoy her for the time that she's here. And, um, yeah, I think she's definitely one that will be staying in the beastie room. Camera lady has adopted her straight away. We didn't even get a choice. She's like, that's staying on the shelf. So, here she is to stay. What an absolutely beautiful, beautiful thing. Can you come in from that side? Look straight through the glass. Let's try. So that is, got to get as many different angles on this spider as possible. I mean, look at that. She is so pretty. Absolutely amazing. So it's definitely going to be um, one that we're going to follow, keep an eye on, and see what we can see what we can do. And I think if we find that um, we get some some others, it would definitely be worth trying to find a male and uh, see if we can't. Can't pair her up. I think that would be absolutely amazing to try and breed these guys. Would be really, really cool. I dread to think of what the size of um, the uh, the spiderlings would be. I would imagine they would be absolutely tiny. Um, but what a fun thing to do! Absolutely wonderful. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That really is a special little spider. We are really rather quite taken with it. Um, and now. If any of you guys out there have a male, let us know in the comments. Or even if any of you guys have actually got this particular spider. This is not one that we've come across before. If you've got one and you're doing well with it, jot down in the comments. Let us know how you're getting on. Um, we'd love to hear how you set yours up. Um, and this is how we can learn with these types of spiders. We need to share the information as much as we possibly can. Absolutely fabulous. Right then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. And I will see you soon, guys.